Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Grethid, and you know, look, I have got a rant. If you haven't heard a rant before, it's been a quite a while since I've done one of these. Instead of having a script and pre-prepare everything I'm about to say, everything that you hear is off the top of my head and just kind of going with it and going with the issue that we're looking at. In this case, we are looking at the email that Twitch Prime customers got today. Today, the Twitch Prime customers received this email from the Twitch marketing team. When we launched Twitch Prime, we were determined to give streamers and their viewers the best value in gaming. And since then, we've seen the Twitch community take advantage of Twitch Prime perks like monthly channel subscriptions to support favorite streamers, free games with Prime, and in-game loot for games like Fortnite, PUBG, Hearthstone, and more. On top of everything you get through Amazon Prime, this year alone we've offered members more than $1,000 worth of games and loot. As we have continued to add value to Twitch Prime, we have re-evaluated some of the existing Twitch Prime benefits. As a result, universal ad-free viewing will no longer be part of Twitch Prime for new members starting September 14th. Members with monthly subscriptions will continue to get ad-free viewing until October 15th. If you already have an annual subscription, or if you upgrade to an annual subscription before September 14th, you will continue with ad-free viewing until your next renewal date. Advertising is an important source to support for the creators who make Twitch possible. This change will strengthen and expand that advertising opportunity for creators so that they can get more support from their viewers for doing what they love. You can read more details on this change our recent blog post. Note at this point there is a link to the blog post. All other Twitch Prime benefits like monthly channel subs, monthly games and loot, and chat badges are not changing. You can still get channel specific ad-free viewing as part of Twitch Prime by using your monthly subscription token on a channel that has ad-free viewing for subscribers turned on. Plus, all Twitch viewers can get ad-free viewing across all channels by subscribing to Twitch Turbo. And with your Twitch Prime membership, you can still take advantage of all the other Amazon Prime benefits like free two-day shipping and access to Prime Video and Music. Thank you for being a Twitch Prime member. We look forward to bringing you even more amazing loot, games, and benefits over the coming year. At this point, I'd like to point out that there is a link to Twitch Turbo and all the benefits that come with Twitch Turbo, including ad-free viewing across Twitch, expanded emoticon sets, custom chat user colors, chat badge, extended broadcast storage, and priority customer service. I want to touch on two of those, ad-free viewing across Twitch and the extended broadcast storage. This brings your storage from 14 days as a standard up to 60 days. So let's unpack this. The biggest thing that we are seeing right now is that Twitch has decided that ad revenue is what they want. And they're taking away the biggest benefit to Twitch Prime. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I expect Twitch Prime numbers to tank. Come September 14th, when the service no longer provides ad-free service, I suspect we'll see a drop-off, and in October we'll see even a bigger drop-off. People are not subscribing to Twitch Prime to get their free games. People are not subscribing to Twitch Prime to get a funny little badge. People are not subscribing to Twitch Prime to get a free sub. The biggest thing that we were sold on was ad-free viewing on top of our Amazon Prime services. That, that is what we were sold on. So, what do I see this as? I see this as Twitch trying to double dip. I see them trying to sell their Twitch Prime service, and I see them trying to sell their Twitch Turbo service. And that's not cool. That is not cool in the slightest. Here's the thing. Over at YouTube, there's this product called YouTube Red. And yes, you get original content and people watch it for the original content. 
But the biggest selling feature to why people would get YouTube Red is yes, it gives a little support to our YouTube friends, but it gives us ad free viewing. People want ad free viewing. And let's face it, Twitch Turbo by itself is not a great product. If you are a broadcaster, you get the up to 60 day storage instead of the 14, which is a fine service for a broadcaster. But for viewers, that is not a benefit. They get absolutely nothing out of it. A badge, a custom color, eight other emiticons that they wouldn't have otherwise had access to. Twitch, that isn't good enough. The price point in which you are setting for Twitch Turbo is not worth it for the ad-free viewing. While the service is certainly desired, there is a limit to how much you can get away with charging. The fact that you are double dipping and we are definitely seeing corporate greed show its ugly face right here does not bode well for you. This will not go over well. This is not going to be received well. And for all the shit that you guys have dealt with over the last couple of years, this was a horrible move. Now, look, I get it. One of the things that you addressed is that you want to try to provide more support to the people that provide entertainment to us and continue to do what they love to do. What you are saying is that piece of the pie, that revenue pie, is being cut small every single time there is a Twitch partner brought into the fold. And I get that. I completely understand that fact. If you're going to tell me that your profit margin isn't that large though, then I'm going to go ahead and call bullshit. I suspect you could take a little bit of a hit if it meant that people could avoid having to watch ads. Now, a rebuttal would be, but people engage with our ads. People like to watch our ads. No, they don't. People watch your ads because either A, they don't have a choice, or B, they do it because they get free bits. You watch an ad, you get free bits. You get anywhere from five bits up to 500 bits. That, that is why people engage with your ads. And even then, look, I'll tell you, when I go after my free bits, you know what I'm doing? I mute the browser that I'm using. I'll go into my sound settings, I mute the browser, and I'll let it play through. I do the few clicks that it needs to show that I was engaged, and I get my bits. I cannot tell you the last time there was an ad for something I could give any shits about. Now. If you are going to provide feedback to Twitch, do so in a constructive manner. Don't do threats. You guys on the internet like to do threats. That is not a great idea. Be constructive. Write a blog. Do a vlog. Do an audio clip. Do whatever it is you're going to do. If you're going to TwitchCon, I know I am. I will be greatly interested in any surveys they would like us to fill out. And I'll be more than happy to tell them how I think this is an absolute shit show and they shouldn't have done this. <sighs> I'm not going to say that Mixer is going to benefit from this because they do. No, Mixer is not going to get anything from me. People are going to continue to use Twitch because it's what they do. Well, maybe the new Steam TV, because that is the thing that Steam is working. No, that's not going to happen either. People are going to continue to use Twitch. Some people might look at Mixer. Some people may look at YouTube, and some people may look at Facebook. YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch are the big three. And as much as the other ones would like to try, that's nice and cute and all, but it's not going to happen. Which is a shame, because I feel like with a stunt like this, going to a competitor would truly tell them that this was a poor idea, but then we're not supporting the content creators we like, so it's a lose-lose. We don't win. Well, if you made it this far, I appreciate you listening to my rant. I'll see if I can do this a little bit more on the regular basis. I'm not going to make any full promises, because life is hectic, and uh, it's not always a great time. Regardless, though, so, if you did make it this far, thank you so much for listening. 
Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mincrathade, and I'll catch you guys next time.